Carb loading works for bodybuilders to make their muscles temporarily bigger and their bodies leaner, according to a new study. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering a wide range of topics on training, nutrition, supplementation, and anything else my subscribers want to know. If you find this information helpful, please like, share, and drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified when I post new videos. When a bodybuilder steps on stage, they typically have done a peak week or two weeks before the competition where they carb deplete and then carb load as well as manipulate their water and sodium intake with the premise that this will make their muscles look bigger and fuller and their body look leaner. For decades, competitive bodybuilders have sworn by this technique to help them look better on stage. However, there's been little scientific evidence to confirm the effectiveness of doing this. So New Zealand researchers had four bodybuilders follow a typical pre-contest diet for around eight weeks and then perform a mock peak week to see what happens to their muscle size and body fat. The peak week was a five day protocol where they did high rep workouts on days one through four and rested on day five. They followed a carb depleting diet on days one through three that involved eating around 0.5 grams of carbs per pound of body weight. On day four, they either switched to a carb loading diet that involved consuming around five grams of carbs per pound of body weight, or they continued on the lower carb diet. The researchers measured their muscle thickness of the biceps, triceps, quadriceps, hamstrings, and calves using ultrasound, as well as skin thickness using skin fold calipers, which are typically used to measure body fat percentage, on day one representing a baseline measurement, and day four representing a post-carb depletion measurement, and then again on day five representing a post-carb loading measurement. They reported in a 2024 issue of the journal Nutrition that muscle thickness increased by about 2% following the carb loading phase as compared to the baseline measurement. They also reported that skin fold thickness decreased also by around 2% after the carb loading phase as compared to the baseline measurement. What's really interesting here is that muscle thickness increased by about the same amount as skin fold thickness decreased, meaning you wouldn't necessarily notice an increase in the size of the arms or the legs. And in fact, body mass or body weight did not change from baseline to post carb loading. However, the muscles would look bigger and you would appear leaner due to there being more fluid in the muscle cell and less fluid and fat under the skin. While a 2% change in either muscle thickness or skin fold thickness seems small and inconsequential, it can make a big difference between first place and second place in a bodybuilding contest. Plus, it would take an individual several weeks or even months to achieve this through normal means of exercise and diet. Although this study does support the anecdotal evidence that bodybuilders have been seeing for many, many years with carb depleting and loading, helping the muscles be bigger and the body be leaner, I have a few issues with the study. First and most obvious is the fact that there are only four subjects, but being a research scientist myself, I understand it's very difficult to get research subjects, let alone ones who have enough muscle mass and are lean enough to be considered bodybuilders. So I understand why there was only four subjects. Second, one day of carb loading is not enough to maximize the increase in muscle size and the decrease in the skin fold thickness. You need at least two days of carb loading, maybe even three to maximize that size increase in the muscle and that decrease in the skin fold thickness. Third, they should not have been exercising on day four while they were carb loading. They should have been resting to maximize the amount of carbs that the muscles could have taken up. And fourth, 
Most bodybuilders don't just manipulate their carbs during peak week. They also manipulate their water and sodium intake. Had they done this, they would have seen even bigger changes in the muscle size and the size of the skin folds. However, you can't really do this in a research study or it throws in too many variables and then you don't know what caused the changes. Was it the carb uh, manipulating? Was it the water or was it the sodium? So I understand why they had to leave that out, but sodium and water uh, manipulation typically goes hand in hand with the carb manipulation during peak week. So if you're prepping for a physique contest or a photo shoot, or you just wanna look good for a day at the beach, consider doing a peak week before your big day to make your muscles look bigger and fuller and your body look leaner. For a peaking strategy that I developed for prepping myself and has helped thousands of people do the same, check out my free Reach Your Peak Guide by clicking on the link below.